Tennessee, Alabama. We have a great matchup here. Penn State unbeaten and Michigan unbeaten. The spread is seven points in favor of the Wolverines who are at home. The over-under is 52. Give me the under. And uh, Michigan, heavily favored, um, at least for the matchup predictor, giving them a 73.3, round it down, count it 73% chance to win this ball game. And I don't blame it. Uh, I don't think this is a 50-50 matchup. I don't think it's really a coin flip matchup. Um, even though I like Penn State this year, I like Sean Clifford, I like Nick Singleton. Um, you know, I, I love all of those guys that are playing right now, and they're doing really, really well. The thing is, this is going to be a game where Michigan's offense is tested finally against the defense. And so the same could be said for Penn State's defense against a good offense. Um, Cody Hankins in the chat here. Uh, do I think Bryce will be ready? Going back to the Alabama-Tennessee game real quick. Uh, I, I do think Bryce will be ready. Uh, he will be a game-time decision. Uh, I've heard some positive things so far this week, but we'll see. But getting back to this game real quick, um, Penn State, Michigan, top 10 matchup. Uh, you look at Nicholas Singleton, who's a, f- a five-star, really good freshman running back who's got 463 yards for the Nittany Lions. Parker Washington came back for like the fifth year in a row. I think he's a fifth-year senior. Um, 285 yards receiving. Uh, Sean Clifford passing over 1,000 yards, uh, 62 completion percentage. He has taken four sacks on the year. That offensive line has got to bring their A game against Michigan this upcoming Saturday. So um, I don't really know where it starts with both of these teams. I mean, you got Blake Corum and J.J. McCarthy, who's a new duo for Michigan this year, they were at least on the spotlight a little bit last year, but now they're full-time starting. They got Rod Moore, who leads the team in interceptions at two. Junior Colson with 44 tackles this year. Him and Michael Barrett for Michigan are kind of that duo replacing Aiden Hutchinson and David Ajabo for pass rush. Uh, Mozzie Smith, Mike... uh, Sainer still, uh, Chris Jenkins, Rod Moore, uh, just to name a few guys that you could hear on Saturday in this game. And really, I think this is a defensive matchup in ways. I think it's also an offensive matchup. I think the quarterbacks are a big deal. But I also think that we shouldn't be sleeping on what they do uh, defensively. And My grandmother is a Penn State fan who I love dearly. I love Penn State, too, for that reason. I hope it's Penn State that wins it, but history has shown that Penn State on the road in these big-time games, this is kind of where they slip up. You look at what they're scoring per game, 34.4 compared to Michigan's 43. Michigan has the better offensive points per game. They also have the better defense, which is only allowing 11. Uh, Penn State allowing 14. It's not bad for Penn State to have these numbers. The numbers are great. It's just compared to what Michigan has and what Michigan is putting out there and the Wolverines and what Jim Harbaugh is doing, um, it's just not close. And... I think this game will be close. I think it comes down to a late field goal by Michigan or either that or maybe even a late stop by their defense on Sean Clifford and Penn State. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong because it'd be cool to see Penn State get a road win like this. They've really struggled against teams like Michigan and Ohio State on the road. Um, This is going to be a big game. This is going to be a big showdown. I go ahead and I give you my score prediction 
I'm going to say 27 to 24. Um, I see a lot of good defense in this game, but I also see some scoring offenses. I don't think it's a big shootout. I don't think it's one of those high-scoring affairs. Uh, I mean, this is Big Ten, not Big 12. So I, I see some good points in this game uh, by both sides. I just think Michigan being at home, the home crowd is going to be loud. It's going to be rocking at the big house. I think it's going to help them uh, get the victory, get the job done, and it's probably going to be a bit too loud for the Nittany Lions uh, offense towards the end of the game. So we'll just have to wait and see. Penn State definitely has the talent, the roster, the schematics. They have what it takes to win. I'm going with my gut, though, and I'm going to say Michigan gets the W at home. We'll see what happens on Saturday, though. This should be a good game.